Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Tristan and today in this video what I got going on for you guys is we're going to be getting into a little bit slightly earlier view for the Jordan 4 Fear. I know y'all probably seen some videos of these circulating around online, some photos recently and these are going to be dropping, keep in mind, November 9th, 2024. So we got them this year. I mean, of course when we do, you know, drop them this year. I don't got them a, a whole year early, but yeah, that's what I can say. We got these sneakers coming soon and yeah, just let me know your thoughts on them down below. We're going to be showing y'all some up close shots, a review, everything with them, along with, you know, some details about it. Last time I dropped, some of the materials we got on it, things like that. But yeah, we got a cool review here. Let's get into it. If you guys want more content like this, feel free to subscribe and like down below. Again, let me know your thoughts on this pair down below. Are you going to be copping? Are you going to be dropping? And don't forget, you guys can check us out at Resale Vision down below. Again, you guys can see some of the undermarket sneakers we've done. We're going to be dropping some of these tonight, under market price to members. So if that's the type of stuff that you guys are into, just let me know down below and uh, yeah, just get in there. Don't miss out. We got another giveaway coming probably, if it's not end of this week, it'll be starting next week for the medium olive, Travis Scott, Jordan One Low. So if you guys are into giveaways, under market sneakers every single day, I think I showed you all some of those on the screen, check it out below. And of course you can hit me on my Instagrams if y'all need anything, buy and sell and trade in here always. But that's everything I need to say. I'll be getting back to those DMs tonight or early tomorrow morning. Sorry if there are any delays there. And uh, yeah, if anybody needs like the Travis Scott Velvet Browns, let me know 8.5 through 10.5. All right, but that's enough. And I got like uh, 11, 12, 10.5 in these. So let me know. And any, any other size crest hit me up, but let's just get started on these. So first things first about the Jordan 4 Fear, some just details to mention. Let me slow down for a second. Jesus. Uh, so excuse me, but what we're going to be getting into right here. So the last time this pair right here dropped uh, was in 2013. Now, in 2013, I was 11 years old. I think the last time it was like a November 2013-ish. I could be wrong. Uh, so I was like 11 or 12 years old. So I was not very uh, old. So no, I, I do not remember the past release. But any of my OGs down below in the comments that were there for that release, feel free to let me know, are these close to the 2013 pair? I've had my hands in the 2013 pair maybe once or twice, but never a brand new one. Uh, so yeah, just feel free to, you know, let me know, guys. Is this one that y'all are rocking with? And how close do y'all think it is to the 2013 pair? I think it looks pretty close to it. Like, based off the couple times I have seen it, like, there isn't many differences, maybe in the materials, but from what I'm seeing... It looks, it looks pretty close. And the box, I mean, here, let me show y'all this. I mean, the box is definitely close. Let me show y'all this. I actually remember the box, more or less. Uh, y'all can see there are some of the details. So that's definitely going off uh, the 2013 pair. There you guys can see some of the details across that. Jumpman in the center, flight logo. Uh, and here is the size tag, in case y'all need a little legit check. Here's a 100% legit pair. So y'all can take a little look right there. I have a few sizes. I have 11, 12, 13. Well, 13 sold, so I don't have it anymore, but... Uh, yeah, I got quite a few sizes in these, you know, good flips. I'll say that Jordan 4s are always safe bets if you flip before the drop uh, and after, you know, people are always asking about them. But that's off topic. Aside from that, there is the box on these. So let me show you all some other details on the sneaker. So why don't we dive into what we got in the heel right here? No Nike Air, right? Y'all can see that, but Jumpman logo. I actually, I actually prefer this on the sneaker. I don't think Nike Air would like, I mean, it would look fine. Here, let me get this to focus. There you go. Y'all can see that. So it's focused a bit better. I mean, I think Nike, the Nike Air, you know, it would look fine, but I actually think this looks almost a little bit better with the Jumpman just kind of on the back of the sneaker right here. Let me know if that's a whack take in the comments. But aside from that, uh, you guys can see, I, I actually really, normally I don't rock with, you know, kind of this speckled uh, paint design, but I like it. I like it on this shoe. I think it really works with like kind of a black, white, and gray sneaker. Yeah, and keep in mind, these have that SB4 build. These look super comfortable. Absolutely, I'm going to be copping a personal of these because the White Thunders, I was like, eh, you know, not like 100% my style, but you know, I'm going to get a few of them, put them on ice, it'll age well. But this, this shoe right here, this is more my style. Kind of, you know, has that subtle gray look, kind of blends in a little bit, a little bit unique with kind of the speckled paint look. Also, is a retro of a pair of that, you know, a lot of people remember. I mean, that's not the main reason I'm going to be copping the shoes, just, you know, so people can see it and, you know, remember what it is. But uh, this kind of fits more to my style. That's personally what I think. So, aside from that, y'all can see there is the toe cap on it. Y'all can see that kind of suede material right there. Uh, at least I believe, uh, or no, sorry, let me correct myself. Yeah, no, it's still like a suede material right here. Obviously not right here, but here. And then you guys can see that just super padded inside. Like these look super comfortable. Not my size, so I can't wear these, but once I get my size, I probably will be wearing them. But yeah, aside from that, let me sit back down here. A couple other details I can show you guys. So of course, uh, the tongue tag on these, y'all can see that design right there. Just black tongue tag with kind of the white jump man. Or, well, the Jumpman is black, but, you know, it's kind of on a white background, so y'all can see that right there. Uh, here, let me, there, there's no extra laces with these, by the way. Another thing I thought 
uh, I'd mentioned I was checking for extra laces. I'll double check right now. Yeah, there's no extra laces. So it just comes with, you know, a standard set of uh, black laces. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but, I mean, the, that, that's probably what fits the most on the sneaker. Maybe, like, some white laces would look pretty good on them. But I think, like, black laces or gray laces, that's going to be what works most on this shoe. I, I kind of like the angle where I was standing up a little bit more. Just, I don't know why I got a little bit better camera angles. But look at how that's hitting on camera. I mean, these just look super super nice in hand like i i how, how can i put this i like jordan fours but like i'm kind of picky you know what i mean i don't just get every jordan four uh you know for my collection this is one of the ones where i see it in hand and i'm like oh yeah i'm getting these for the collection and i have a feeling these could do pretty well i'll say i'll say this i'll say this if the white thunders are reselling at like 240 270 right now right so i mean those are still flipping right yeah if the white thunders are still flipping these are definitely gonna flip if they make the if they make the same amount of pairs of this one right here as they did the white thunders these will flip perfectly fine that's my personal opinion on it because it's just a very nice sneaker that's my thoughts because this is like truly like how would i put it like i'm young right i'm, I'm 22 so this is kind of like the first drop of this shoe for me if y'all get it since i wasn't really around for the first drop they did in 2013 and i think this sneaker has been around even before that maybe i'm wrong let me know but i just remember the 2013 one but i don't really remember because i didn't cop it i wasn't there so yeah i was like kind of like a first you know kind of like almost true look at it really really nice shoe definitely gonna be copping but aside from that i want to show you all some b-roll shots for these the box everything with this shoe here are the soles on them as well super clean i mean that that works well you know what i mean i normally don't like white soles because you know it shows dirt pretty easily but I, I don't care you know what i mean this is a nice shoe and uh you know you, people don't really look at your soles you know what i mean so that's what i'll say but uh yeah overall cool shoe and as you wear them i mean the soles are going to get dirty you, you can't really prevent that that much but yeah, let me know your thoughts on this pair. But before you head to the comments, let's do some B-roll shots. Give y'all another look right now. Let's go. Anyways, guys, I hope y'all did enjoy this early review, or slightly early review, for the Jordan 4 Fear. Let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments. Are you going to be copping or dropping? And uh, for me, it's a cop. I mean, that, that's at least what I think. Uh, really clean pair, easy to wear. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of like the White Thunders a little bit in terms of, like, you know, the white and black on it. But obviously, there's a lot of different parts to this shoe, and that's why I like it. It's, it's, it's just nice. You know what I mean? So, for me, absolutely going to be one for these. Let me know how y'all feel about them in the comments. And don't forget... You guys can subscribe and like for more. Just trying to throw the likes in this video. Just let me know. These are the types of videos y'all want more of. And you can also, again, don't forget, check us out below at Resale Vision. We're going to be doing some of these under market tonight. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you guys get in there. We're doing a giveaway for the Medium Olives coming up. And also, again, the under market sneakers you do every single day. I'm dropping more of those tonight. Probably right after I'm done with this video, I'm going to be you know, doing more of those. I just got to edit this video. Got a few other things to get done today. You know how it is. We stay busy, busy Monday through I mean, every day, really. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I chill a little bit more on Sunday, though, you know, because I just got to. But that is it, guys. And uh, feel free to hit me on my Insta down below if y'all need any pairs. The Velvet Brown Travis is coming up. I got 8.5 through 10.5. These, I got 11, 12, uh, and 9, and 10.5. So feel free to let me know. And tons of other pairs. If you need a shoe, just hit my Insta or get in resale vision. We got you. So that's it, guys. Again, feel free to drop your thoughts on the Fear Force in the comments. Cop or drop for you. And for me, yeah. As I've told you, cop. But that's it. I'm T. Thank you, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. And drop them thoughts in the comments. I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.